Hi lovelies, so in this video I'll be teaching you how to make quality multi-purpose liquid soap for home and commercial purposes. So let's get familiar with the ingredients. Firstly is the nitro soap which is one of the first and most important chemical used in liquid soap production. Then this is the sodium lorry surface which is SLS. This SLS has a, a rice-like appearance and it also acts as a foaming agent yes it helps break down surface tension and it is very difficult to dissolve most times next online is our stpp which has the ability to clean out and brighten any surface this soap is going to be used on moving forward is our caustic soda which is a whitish crystalline chemical that looks like grounded sugar it is very corrosive and you need to be very careful around this chemical Next is our sulfuric acid. This particular chemical acts as a foam boosting agent. Yes, it boosts foam, it boosts ladder, and it also helps get rid of dirt from anywhere this soap will be used. Soda ash helps to soften the water, taking it from a hard water to a soft water. I think my chemistry students will understand this better. <laughs> Texapone is jelly like in appearance and it acts as a binder. Also, it acts as a foam booster which helps produce rich, 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 rich lather. So the next on our line of ingredients is color. So color are dyes used to give us two beautiful looks. Fragrance or perfume as they call it is for your soap to smell really nice. So let's dive right into our workspace. So for the purpose of this video, I'll be doing a 15 liter liquid soap. So firstly, we will be melting our SLS. We're going to be soaking it because you know it's like a little bit difficult to dissolve so before we start our soap production firstly we're going to be dissolving this in a liter of water a liter of water so it has been added into the water i'm trying to turn it properly so it can sit in it can sit in very very well yeah it can sit in very very well so this is how it looks in water and it has to dissolve and become very liquid so this does not happen immediately so we'll have to keep it aside while we do the mixing of other ingredients so we're for the liquid soap production so firstly i put on my gloves because i do not want my hands to get eaten up by the ingredients using producing this soap so in this bowl or bucket i turned in 10 liters of water then we're going to introduce our nitro soap being the first ingredient into the water. Then also we needing a turning stick, a turning stick to help stir the ingredients properly. So you turn in your nitro soap into the 10 liters of water and mix properly. Please, while turning in your nitro soap powder, you have to stir like mix. If not, you end up with lumps and you don't want your liquid soap to be looking lumpy. So you stir, 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 keep stirring till it looks a little bit clear, till you no longer see the, the powder in the water. So we set aside while introducing the next ingredient to water. So in this bucket, we'll be adding 500 ml of water, that's half a liter. We're adding half a liter of water then we'll be introducing our stpp and you know this stpp acts as a thickener it helps thicken our, our soap and it also helps our soap bladder properly another thing this ingredient does in this liquid soap production is that it helps this particular liquid soap to brighten any surface this soap is going to be used on be it clothes be it your surroundings it's going to help remove oil remove dirt remove stains from your surrounding so you keep stirring this soap you stir 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 till it becomes the cloudiness of the soap it does not become this white again till the color goes from being white to a little bit transparent yes this is how it's supposed to look after stirring so this shows that the ingredient has dissolved properly in water so it's now time to introduce the ingredient to the nitro soap mix we'll be turning the stpp into this bowl of nitro soup 
and after turning we have to stay 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 for at least five minutes before introducing another ingredient So we'll be setting this aside to introduce our next ingredient. So in this bowl, we'll be adding 500 ml of water. Yes, 500 ml of water. Then we'll be introducing our next ingredient, which is soda ash. So we'll turn in our soda ash into the water. We already know what soda ash does. It helps remove stains as well, and it softens the water. So. We're adding the soda ash into the water. So it's time to mix, 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 mix. You mix this for at least three to five minutes so the powders can dissolve properly so in another bowl we'll be adding 500 ml of water and we'll be introducing our next ingredient which is sulfuric acid so this is me adding the acid into the bucket as i'm adding it it is imperative to stir as well so everything can mix in properly yes so stir this for three to five minutes as usual we're gonna be stirring this for three to five minutes we'll stir it till it doesn't look this way till it looks a little bit diluted like i said earlier this sulfuric acid acts as a foam booster in this particular liquid soap we won't be adding foam booster because it is for personal use we are not commercializing it like we are not selling this out so i won't be adding foam booster and i will not be adding preservative it's now time to introduce a bowl of soda ash into our nitro soul mix that is what we'll be doing so in this bowl we have the nitro soul we have the stpp and now we're introducing the soda ash so if you look carefully it didn't it didn't dissolve properly but i won't be adding the part that is not properly dissolved i sieved it out remember the sulfonic acid we mixed in water it is now time to introduce to our ingredients just just look at the foam look at the ladder coming out of this this is one sign to tell you that this soap is going to lather so 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 remember the sls we soaked from the beginning of the video the rice like looking ingredient it has now dissolved so yeah we just introduced it now to the to our liquid soap for every ingredient you add it is good to stir so you don't end up with lumps so for every ingredient you add, you stir for at least 3 to 5 minutes. In an empty bowl, you put in 500 ml of water and turn in your caustic soda. Please, when working with caustic soda, you need to be very, very careful because caustic soda is very corrosive. So after turning this into the water, it's time for you to stir as usual. You stir, 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 stir for at least three minutes. After stirring for three minutes, then we will now move to the next step, which is adding it to the main base of the soup, our nitro soup base. So it's time to turn in the caustic soda mix into the nitro soup base of the soup and mix as usual. But this time we'll be mixing for five minutes so it's 
it's time to add our texapon to give it a very very rich ladder So right about now, we'll be adding our fragrance or perfume to give the soap a very pleasant scent. So this is the last stage of our liquid soap production, which is mixing in the color. So we don't mix in the color directly into the soup, we use water as well. So in this bowl, we have 500 ml or half a liter of water. Then we turn in our powder color dye and mix as usual. The secret to making a good liquid soup is mixing up your ingredients one after the other with water before introducing them together. That is the secret to making a good liquid soap. So now we've introduced our color into the main bowl and see how glorious it is looking. It is looking glorious. It's giving what it should give. It's looking yummy. So this is the final stage of the soap mixing. So you have to mix properly. You have to mix, 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 mix and cover for 24 hours so the foam can disappear. And this is how your soap will be looking. We have different colors of powder that I chose green because I, I like green. And I wanted it to look this way. So this is the final end result. So please guys, don't forget to like my video, share and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.